and see if it would be something that would be a good fit for your business. So Aaron, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one over to you. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to share my screen so you guys can see this. Let's see, I'll go here. All right, does everybody see that? Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, wh which one do you guys see right now? I think it popped up my other. We have the GFG client advantage. Okay, that, that's what we want. Okay, perfect. Sorry, when you got a couple of monitors, sometimes Zoom screws it up. So the, the short version is, and you guys can read it here a little bit, um, but where this all came from is we were having quite a few conversations as the market was accelerating, things were getting, you know, kind of crazy for you out there in the real estate world uh, with our with our really top clients. And we're saying, okay, you know, like what do you guys need? And, and what was like the continuing theme and what we were hearing over and over again was, look, if I knew what I needed, then I would ask for it or I would just go do it. Like what I need are ideas. I need content. I need things I can send out because I'm busy and I don't really have time to go through and either like create something new or I don't have time to go out and vet a bunch of products to try to find it. So they're like, give me something I can reach out to my database with that doesn't take any time. And if you can do that, then I'll be very happy because it actually takes a huge thing off of my, uh, my list or my checklist. So what we came up with was a client advantage. And, and the whole purpose for the client advantage is to give you something on a monthly basis that will allow you to reach out to your database uh, and you can, you can kind of decide and I'll kind of work through this process with you guys here in a second. That gives you something to immediately send out, whether it be email, letter, video, text message, social media, whatever that is, we're giving you an entire campaign on a monthly basis that is number one, it's timely and relevant. So it's, it's built out every month. This isn't something that's like canned and it's very generic. It's something that, it, that is timely to the market. And it's built out specifically to try to create conversations. So I, I'll be honest, the first six months of this thing, everything's been about trying to get listings because what's been happening in the market? No inventory, we need listings. So it's been very specific with the verbiage and things like that in order to try to do that. So what we're doing is we want to give you something that literally, if you do nothing more than hit, you know, you, you grab the asset, hit copy, paste, send, you should get interactions. And so that's the goal of it, is to make it quick, simple, and easy for you. And so the way that this looks, I'll close this out, is every month you're gonna get something that looks like this. And so what we'll do is I'm creating on a monthly basis something that can be used um, in this situation for letter, video, or template. And I'm gonna point out all the reasons that we engineered it the way we did. So this isn't something where we willy-nilly type something up. It's like, nope. These are the words we used, here's the percentages, here's where we got the data. This is the reason that we're building it out this way to create this, the, the, to create these interactions. And we'll point all those out to you so it'll be easier for you to then have a conversation. And don't worry, I'll show you this whole thing here in a second because it actually comes in a Word document. Then we'll give you like, okay, you just wanna text some people. Here's what the text messages look like. Literally copy and paste it if you want, throw it right into your phone, throw it right into your text messages. If you do have a CRM that has some sort of a, a text automation system, you can use that as well, um, but we'll give you a text alternative. And then we'll even get down into like, and here's what this whole campaign looks like in social. So we're basically giving you social campaigns, text campaigns, and email campaigns on a monthly basis that are all meant to make it super easy on you. And so the way that we do this, let me jump over here is I'll, I'll pop this guy up is we're gonna give you this. So I know you I know you guys were looking a little bit, I'll even like blow it up just a little bit so you can see, is you know one of the big things, it's actually perfect timing, because I know Sean, we were just talking, the market has shifted drastically in the last couple of weeks. And so we've, I felt it, I've heard it from conversations, I've read data about it. And so it, you know if you look at this one specifically, this is about the market shift. And traditionally, what we're trying to do with all of these pieces is it's going to be one of three things. One, we do want to create conversations. So there's always something in here that says, reach out to me, text me, call me, email me, whatever that may be. So we're always trying to do that. Two, we're trying to position you guys as professionals, not, not their real estate buddy, 
but a real estate professional that's similar to an attorney or a financial planner or an asset manager or a, you know somebody that manages their 401k. So we want you to be on that type of a level where it's like, look, we know our numbers, we know our data, we know what's going on in the market. Like, talk to me before you talk to anybody else. And the third thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to keep those clients appraised of what's going on in the market based on the information you're giving them. So this year is the June campaign. Um, they'll each have a, a theme. This one's called the winds of change. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is it's, I, I've talked to probably 50 realtors in the last two to three weeks. And every one of them says, I'm feeling a tangible change right now. I can't even put my finger, like they're not all saying this, but they're like, I can't even necessarily put my finger on exactly what it is, but it's shifting. And it's all of a sudden Redfin comes out with data. It's like, you know, one in five homes is now having a price reduction. 13% of, or, or Google searches are down 13%. Showings are down, it's like 12 to 14%. So there's a lot of stuff that's kind of going on in the market that you guys can now say like, look, contrary to what you're seeing on social media, where everything is going in three days for 20% over asking price, here's what the numbers are coming out with. And oh, by the way, if you're one of those people that's been trying to time the market or you wanna like sell at the peak, Here's all the data showing you like, this might be the time that it's the peak and you may wanna take some action right now. And so, so that's the goal of like this campaign specifically, but each one of them is gonna be different. And we have, you know, it, it can be anything from rising interest rates to, um, you know, early on we were doing asset audits asking about, you know, what's your, what's your valuation of your home after a certain period of time. So, so they're gonna change every month depending on what's going on in the market. But I just feel like this is a, a good example because it's what's happening right now in our day to day. So if we if we look at these, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a couple of this stuff back. I've been getting a ton of feedback. So I want to show you guys this. This is one of our sales reps that they're literally saying, you know, we're getting stuff not like it's, hey, this is a cool thing. You guys should do more of this. It's like, no. This is a, that's only the second letter is one person purchased after this letter was sent out and he's also selling his place. So they got two transactions purely because of doing this. Um, another one is this one. It's like, I'm delaying my run because I'm texting a past client about buying a property after they received my, he calls it the Aaron designed email. Um, but it's literally, it's, he got an immediate track or immediate traction on this. If I look at this one, this was another one. It's the same guy, but he sent out two different ones. The other one is like, this is crazy. He goes, I got five responses immediately, three CMAs and one client who wanted to buy as soon as possible. So it's it's all meant to be tangible. It's action oriented. It's meant to create conversations. And the whole goal for you guys is to make it easy. Like you're going to have this thing that shows up. And if I scroll down, here's the text message that you can literally copy and paste right into your text message screen and do nothing else with it. If you wanna like grab and, and use this social copy, you can do that. But the key is at the end of the day, we're going to build these out for you on a monthly basis. We're going to give it to you. And, and the reason we're going to show you all of the engineering behind it is so you can have a kind of an educated way to talk about it. But then we'll give it to you in a Word document where you can, if you want to change it to sound like the way that you talk about. If you had a an article that you found that you liked and you want to quote that instead, you can change that. So like you can edit it to make it whatever you want. But if you don't want to do anything, it's ready to go immediately. And so that's really the goal of it. You know, the, the point of it for us is, you know, the market is shifting at WFG. We want to make sure that the people that are directing transactions to us are successful. So as long as you're a client of ours, we will give this to you on a monthly basis. The way you get it is you talk to Rick. Rick's going to be the guy that, that has it on a monthly basis. You just say, Rick, I want it this month, or he creates a distribution list. And as long as you're working with us at WFG, we will just continue to provide this to you like on a monthly basis. And it will always be pertinent trying to get you either buyer, sellers or transactions. That's our goal. So it's, it's fairly simple, but I kind of wanted to walk you through it. But more importantly, do you guys have any questions or does it make sense? Yeah, Aaron, I think it's great. I, you know, we're always, I have writer's block a lot of the time. Uh, I know probably everybody else does. I mean, we have these, you know, you're either a stats guy or you're, you're a creative guy or something like that, you know, maybe not all of those at once, but yeah, it's good to, it's good to have that 
at least that starting point. So you're, you know, if it's in a Word document, you can adjust it so it's so it feels authentic coming from from your voice. Um, yeah, and I think that's. I mean, I could even see that email, you know, tweaking it a little bit and just putting it into a blog as well, and maybe throwing in some pictures, um, maybe a couple graphs uh, that Noah Blanton puts out. You know, his awesome graphs like that too would be perfect for that kind of blog scenario. Well, and that's that's kind of the whole point. I'm going to show you guys one more thing, um, because the the other thing that I do, let me let me pull this up is. There's more to it, and you'll get some of this. Um, you'll get this from Rick also, or he'll get, he can kind of give you the rundown on it. Is you touched on a couple things there that I think are super important. Is number one, it's always so much easier to edit than it is to create. So you look at something, and you're like, well, I don't. This is not how I would word that, or I would change the. Like that's easy, but to start from scratch is hard. The other thing is, is like one of the tools that Rick's going to get that, that doesn't necessarily go out in public. And let me share my screen here again. Sorry, I got to get over here. Is not only do I give out, so you guys will get all the assets, but anytime I put this out, Rick will have all of this information as well. So I'll, I'll go through and give him all of the engineering behind this. So for example, I'm going to talk about the goal. What's the goal? We're, we're trying to identify the people that are either trying to find the market, get the maximum price for their home. Um, if I can get, you know, whatever the number is out of my house, I would sell today. We're trying to identify those people inside of your database. So we're always trying to carve out a niche, if not all of your database. From an execution standpoint, we're also going to talk to Rick about this stuff. So like he'll have this information to, to run by you guys also. It's like, here's how you can make this thing highly effective. You know, and if I'm one of you sitting on the other side of this camera, I'm going to say, all right, let me find the one house that's been sitting there a little too long because it's been overpriced. Let me find a couple that have been, you know, on the market and now they're doing price reductions. Like I'm going to find a couple of case studies or examples that are going to basically prove what I'm telling them. But if not, I've got this article from Redfin, which has some crazy cool data talking about lowering like the, the, the fewer numbers of showings, the fewer numbers of Google searches the number of price reductions. So there's gonna be data behind it. This isn't just like my gut feeling this, this is something that I've actually gone out and researched and spent a bunch of time on. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about what's the leverage. So like from a leverage standpoint, like how do you as agents actually take this out there and, and talk to your clients in a way that actually makes them take action. So that's where, you know, we talk about the negative news in the economy. We can talk about the stock market crashing. We can talk about crypto crashing. There's all these things happening right now saying like, look, housing market hasn't really crashed yet or it's not even going down at all. And I don't think it's going to go down drastically, but with everything else that's going on, we're lagging a little bit on the housing market. This could be a great time for you, for you to sell right now. Or if you're a buyer that's been sitting on the sideline, this could be a time for you to start watching because there might finally be some value out there on the market. So, so we're just trying to give them information to get them to take action. And that's the point of all this. So, so Rick will have all of this stuff as well. So anytime he rolls out a campaign for you, he can give you the goal. He can give you the execution. He can give you the leverage on it. He can give you where the data came from. If you really want it, we can even get you the, the assets as far as like the pictures and stuff to put on social. I, I got to be honest, I'd be a little careful with that because what you don't want is 10 people in the same office all putting out the same image and the exact same text because you're connected to each other and that's not going to have the same resounding effect. But if you take something similar, tweak the verbiage slightly on social and then send out the exact same thing to your database, which has, I'm assuming, very little overlap, then you're you're good to go there. So so there's you're going to get context. You're going to get the, the way to actually use it, execute it, and leverage it plus the assets on a monthly basis. And, and like I said, the, the cool thing about it is as long as you're working with WFG, you don't have to do anything. Put it into your email, put it into MailChimp, put it into a CRM, whatever you want to do, or just copy, paste, and text, and you'll have it. I've actually seen someone put it in like their newsletter as well. Yeah, you can put it in newsletters or blogs or whatever you want to do. I mean, literally you can put it anywhere you want and just... Do whatever, like if you want to take slight tweaks, great. If not, literally copy, paste, publish. That's all you need to do. And so I think you mentioned that uh, May was maybe your first, you had a, one letter or one campaign that came out before this June one. 
Yep. Is it can we is it easy enough just to jump in midstream anywhere? Or do we go or is it a program where you go back to the beginning of the first campaign and then start No, playing? I would actually I would start with like right now I would start with June's. Like you can go back and look at all the other ones. Like Rick has the whole library of them. We started in January actually. So we now have mm -hmm. six of them. Um and if you want to if you want to see any of the past ones, Rick has access to all of those. So just get those from Rick, but but no, I actually am intentionally making these very specific to the time when they're coming out. Like I, I couldn't even write July's yet because I want to give it another week or so. And I, I kind of have some, I have like three or four ideas that I'm working on, but like if something shifts, like with this one, I had a completely different campaign built out or I, I was going down the line of it. And all of a sudden I had several conversations with our high producing clients and they were like, look, man, all I can tell you is things are shifting and shifting quickly right now. And then I found some articles and I saw some things that, that had data that proved that, not their, just, just their gut. Completely changed this for June because this is what's timely and this is what your clients need to know. And Aaron, would you, would, you, would you say some of the ones that we've done in the, I mean, we've started in January. Would you, yep. would you say some of them are um, not relevant? Um. I don't, not necessarily because last okay. month's was about rates. That's still relevant. You'd have to change yep. the numbers, but it's still relevant. Um, the one, like if I go back through, they could all be tweaked to still be relevant. I'll just say right. that. Like, right. and they're trying to identify different people. The one prior to that was people that are like, yeah, I want to buy, but I don't know where I'd go. So it's kind of a long game and you're trying to figure out like, how do we get these people to at least start looking and thinking about that? So like, I would say they're all still relevant, but like if you're talking about the most timely, it's always going to be the current month, but the other ones you could still continue to use. Right. Okay. And a lot of times if you have a large database, they're going to appeal to different sections of your database, which is kind of the purpose also. It's like you, if you identify the same 10% of people that are active right now, every time that doesn't do you any good. If you go through and you're like, okay, so these people over here, are kind of, you know, they're waiting to see these people over here are ready to go right now. These people over here are getting to do something else. Then it will we'll continue to pique the interest of different people throughout, uh, hopefully, your entire database. That that also is a goal of it. Great. Yeah. Um, you know, like, like okay. Aaron said, you know, we're looking to, you know, create conversation with your clients. And, mm -hmm. and I know the agents that we have that have sent this out to their database are creating those conversations. And um, yeah, yeah I mean, I can, I can give the another results. example, like where we had, we had an agent that sent one of our things out just recently. And like, we sent it out to 2000 people in our database. We had 900, I believe it was 37 opens. And we started 37 conversations based purely off of this email. And that was literally just copy, paste, send is all they did. And so it was like, we're getting more and more feedback like that, where I was like, and, and on this one specifically, we had one the other day where it was one of our sales reps had reached out to a client and they're like, hey, if your clients thought they would, they would, could time the market and sell at the peak, do you think they would want to sell or at least start conversations? And the guy was like, yeah, it's like 98% of my, 97.6% of my people would want to have the conversation and potentially sell. And it's like, well, that's where we're looking right now based on what's going on with everything in the world, the economy, the market, stocks housing rates, all you, you mix all those things together. That's kind of where we're at right now. And we don't have a, a you know, a, a fortune tellers like ball, but like we're, we're looking at it going like, this is what the data is showing us right now. So it might be time to at least think about it. Right. Yeah. And it's all the, it's all local data, I would, I would assume, and, and, and information. Yep. Yep. So, so this one, this one's a, uh, like in this current one, uh, this is a Redfin thing kind of like nationwide, but most of the time I'm pulling data from like either the market action or RMLS data that we've seen for the last week or, can, or working with NOAA to be like, Hey, what are the trends you're seeing? So like, this is a, it's a effort to yes, always be Portland specific. And if you want to grab like some, like say small neighborhood, we'll show you how to like tweak the data to slightly change it. Like, let's say you're trying to do Selwood or you're trying to do some little neighborhood in Southwest or Beaverton. We're like, well, this is where we got the data. If you want to tweak the numbers, here's where we got it. Here's how you can just switch that out real quick. Right. Well, and you could, um, you know, we have Cloud CMA that also has the home beat 
program yep. too? I mean, so you could yep. throw a link in there just to have them sign up directly Absolutely. for that program as well. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, all, all kinds of great options on there. Um, yeah, any other questions, you guys? Yeah, let me know um, if you guys want to implement this in your business and you know try it out and, and see what see what happens with your database. Yeah, that's exciting stuff. Sorry, I couldn't find the mute unmute button in time. Um, this is really cool. I have no questions though to answer your question. First time caller, no questions. <laughs> Long time listener. <laughs> Long time listener. <laughs> well, hey, no, I just appreciate you guys, you know, spending the time. Here's the one ask that I will have for all of you guys. If you do send this out to your thing, you decide to adopt it, any feedback that you guys have, get from your clients, whatever else, I want it. If, if they say like, look, this is worthless, I don't like it. I want that feedback. If they're like, this is fantastic and here are the things I want. Like, but, but I would love any kind of like tangible numbers that you guys get, because I'm trying to make sure that stuff is actually valuable to you and most importantly, your clients. So, so I'm always looking for feedback. I'm not rigid and stuck on this. I have my opinions on everything, of course, but I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to feedback and I will adjust if it's something where like the, the market saying so, and there's different value in other things and we'll, we'll make it work for everyone. We'll make it work for you guys.